So I'll open up my timeline. I'll use the F3 hotkey and this will open up the timeline which gives you access to every animatable track inside your project. My character is listed here and I can open up my character track list to see all the different tracks that are available to me to start working with. You can see that the Vice of Me track is already checked, which allows us to know that it is here on the timeline. So we can scroll down and then see that it is there. Now, if it is collapsed whenever you see it like this, you'll just see an audio motion track. And so what you wanna do is just go ahead and drop down the Vice of Me track for the audio that we recorded, and then also all of the lip keyframes that we have here as well that were assigned by iClone whenever we recorded our voiceover. So you can edit any of these. They can be clicked on, uh, they can be copied, moved. You can also double click on any of these as well and then open up the Lips Editor. So not only does iClone give you an animation base to get started with, but it also allows you to completely customize that into any different type of facial performance that you want. So if you need a different lip shape, say for instance in this section, instead of a T, L, and D mouth shape, what we want to maybe say is maybe like O or something like that. So you can see if I select that, I not only can change it, but I also can change the expressiveness of that individual mouth shape. So you have the ability to do as much deep dive editing as you like inside iClone to really fine tune your character's performance. So let's make a couple of quick edits using the lips editor. I'll go ahead and press play and then isolate the areas that I want to work with. The life of a castaway. So right away I want to get that L in there for the life or even the the in there for the. So the way I'll do that is right at the beginning here, you can see that I start out with a none lip track, which means they're silent, so we won't have anything to play there. However, I clone assigned the TLD here, which is pretty close. And what I'm gonna do is actually give it a little more assistance here and say, I actually wanna change this keyframe to the, because I'm saying the word the. So I'll go ahead and select that here, just like that, and I'm gonna turn up the expressiveness a little bit. You can see that not only do you get the mouth shape, you also get tongue as well. And for things like th, you're gonna to want to make sure that the tongue is up against the back of the teeth. And iClone already does that with this lip track here. So now I'll go ahead and preview that again. The life of a castaway. So that's good, so I've got that. And then if I want to get to the life, that's here. And I want to go ahead and just turn up the expressiveness on that a little bit. And then I'm gonna to get to the section where I say all. And I wanna change a little bit of that too. Life of a castaway is no life at all. Okay, so that all section right there, we'll just go ahead and get to that. At all. There we go. And so we can see that we have a none keyframe that's been assigned. That's fine because we can change that as well. And so what I want here is I want that heavy L uh, mouth shape. So I want to select that here from TLDN like we have in our lips editor. So really it's just about matching up the sound that you want with the mouth shape and then editing that. You can do that as much as you like or as little as you like. iClone gives you the freedom to go either way. life at all. How now we've got that all. You can see the tongue roll there. You can watch it again and see how that looks. No life at all. So simple edits like that spend a little time and you can really refine your animation quite a bit. Now let's move on and take a look at our facial puppeteering and see how that works. To open the puppeteering panel, we'll begin by closing our lips editor. And then with our character selected, again, we can go ahead and navigate to the facial puppeteering panel. We'll do so by going to the modify and then back to the second tab where all of our animation settings are stored. Again, we have everything here for our body motion as well as face. We started out with creating a script and this is where we set our base level facial animation. We get our basic lip sync. And then for doing more expressive puppeteering or for even puppeteering facial animation for characters that are not speaking, then we can use the facial puppeteering or the face puppet panel. So I'll click that to open it. 
The face puppet panel gives you a couple of different ways to work with it. First of all, we have on the left hand side a number of facial animation profiles. Now these are listed by the types of actors that we have. Christian and Natalie are both used as the character creator basis, so these will work really well with character creator characters. We also have settings set up for other types of characters if you're importing your own custom character and you want to set up any kind of morphs or blend shapes to puppeteer here in iCloud, you can do that as well. To start your facial puppeteering, you can decide to either work with one of the profiles by selecting them just like so, and then you also have the full facial control icons here at the bottom. And these are all set up to give you different types of emotions like general, smiley, angry, and you can see as I click on these that the different settings are going to show up here on my avatar panel. And so this uh, solo feature selection panel is actually being highlighted because these are the settings set up for the facial controls. You can also create your own. So I can select the eraser here if I want to clear everything. That clears everything and I can select the different facial features that I want to puppeteer. So maybe I want the chin. The chin is actually the jaw. So just for an example, I could select maybe just that facial feature element and then select preview and then the space bar like that. And you can see that I can control the jaw with my mouse. So you can do solo feature edits like that, or you can also do full feature or full face. And so here I've selected the angry, and then I can select preview, again, hit the space bar, and now as I puppeteer with my mouse, you'll see that I get different types of anger emotions that are noticeable here on my character. Now all of these can be animated and recorded to the timeline, just as we did with our facial animation. You'll get a facial track, and this will be motion that will be blended actually with your lip sync. So you'll have a total character facial animation based on these two different tools. So now let's go ahead and record some facial animation from the face puppeteering panel. Let's do the angry motion like we just previewed. What I'll do now is instead of previewing, this time I'm actually going to record it. So I'll start back with the playhead all the way back at the beginning of my scene like so. And then I can go ahead and then select record. I have my facial profile already selected and I know that I'm ready and armed to start recording. iClone will tell you to press the space key to start recording. You can also press the enter key for 50% recording speed, which will actually play the playhead in slow motion and allow you to puppeteer in very specific areas with a little bit of nuance animation so that it's very tight whenever you add it to the timeline. So it's a nice feature. Either press space key to go full speed or enter key to go half speed. So we'll go ahead and do full speed on this one. I'll put my playhead back to the beginning as I said, hit record again, and now I'm ready to go ahead and select the space bar to record my angry motion here on my character with the face puppet panel. The life of a castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. Now, you can do as many passes at this as you like. If you don't like the original pass that you did, just hit the Control Z for undo and then do it again. Now, let's go back and take a look at it. The life of a castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. Now, if I want to make another pass at it, I can. So I'll go ahead and do that. This time, I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to go ahead and instead of full speed, I'm going to do half speed this time. So I'll hit enter. The life of a castaway it is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. So now we had the assistance of the slow speed, so it allowed me to really get the motion puppeteering the way I wanted it. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my face puppet, and I'm going to preview this again. The life of a castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. So 
Now, my castaway is definitely looking like he's got uh, a little bit of anger in his delivery there. So iClone can make it easy for you to bring your character to life. Simply record some audio and then also do your animation with the face puppeteering tool. When you're ready, you'll be able to take this whole performance and send it to your game engine. The life of a castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. Now that we've got our lip sync recorded, and then also we have our facial animation created with the face puppeteering panel. We're ready to add a little more body motion to our character and then set it up for Unity.